Over the next couple of videos, I'm moving away from the sequencer and I'm looking at the redrum. The redrum's got its own built-in sequencer, so it's very different to using the built-in linear sequencer in Reason. If you're, a, if you're aware of things like the 909 and the 808 drum machines, you're probably going to be aware of this sort of step style sequencing, but it's very different and it's probably a bit more fun, to be honest with you, than sequencing in a linear sequencer and with MIDI. And it really relies on these buttons down here on the redrum. Let me just highlight this and move up a little bit. So you can see if I just, you know, program in any of these steps, you get a highlighted button. There are actually 16 steps, but we can increase the amount of actual steps that are used uh, or decrease below 16. I like to use 16. I think it's a nice amount. We can change the resolution here. 1 16th is obviously going to work best with 16 steps, but you can set that to whatever you want. We've also got a shuffle control. Uh, you're editing steps 1 to 16 or 17 to 32 if you've got more than 16 steps. When you saw before I programmed in a step, you saw it was a certain color, and this is actually medium intensity. So if you want it to be a harder step by default, you can change this little uh, slider here. So you can have soft ones, medium, or hard. So I'm just going to deprogram everything for the minute you can see i would just did that by holding down the mouse button and i'm going to have these on hard at, uh, from uh, by default you can see that i'm in pattern number two because this is blank and we've got enable pattern set uh, enable pattern section uh, highlighted this will just mean that it plays back in time when we play back the beat and i'll do that now you can see the led running across the 16 steps and then looping back Really simple stuff. So how do we program in a sound? Well, we just select the one we want and in the redrum you can actually use the little play button at the top of each section here. So I want to concentrate on this sort of closed hat sound here. So all you need to do is select that one and then maybe just program in a few steps and have a listen. Then you can use the level control and even the length control It's also a pan control, we've got a couple of send effects, and we can change the pitch. So let's try a second sound. We'll try this open hat. Pretty cool, and you can solo this if you want. And that's cool. And we can, you know, add as many of these as we want. We can add as many sounds as we want from any redrum, and this will just automatically play back in time um, as soon as we engage uh, playback. Now that's great, but let's say we wanted to use the redrum combined with another instrument. And that's what we're going to look at in the next video. I'd like to use this sequencer, but linked to, say, a Kong. So look at this Kong above it. This is what we'll concentrate on. See how these two can work together.